Hey guys, welcome back to Life by the Bow. Now you guys probably remember in our previous video, Pathfinder brought us down this beautiful Pathfinder 22 TRS to do some testing, do some fishing, and of course take to the sandbar. And we had an absolute blast. You guys had a lot of questions, so we figured we'd make a walkthrough video for you guys and just give you a full tour and just show you all the features that this boat has to offer. Now, as I mentioned, this boat is the 22 TRS model, which stands for third row seating. And basically, we have the ability to convert this boat from a hardcore fishing platform into a fully functional family boat with seating up in the bow, seating at the leaning post, and seating at the transom as well. As you guys can see, we're floating relatively shallow right now. This boat has 14 inches of draft and 13 and a half degrees of dead rise. At the same exact time, we have a sharp entry up in the bow. The boat is well balanced. So in my opinion, this is one of the best riding 22 foot boats in its class. But let's go ahead, hop inside of the boat, give you guys a full tour. I know this is something that will probably fit a lot of you at home that are looking into upgrading your boat or maybe even downsizing. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we're gonna start up here in the bow and we're gonna move our way to the transom at the very end of the video. But just to get things going, as you can see up here, we have a motor guide, trolling motor mounted up here. And whenever we think bay boats, trolling motors are probably one of the most important fishing features when it comes to using these boats for what they're intended for. And not only are these great for trolling around the flats, getting up around some of the mangroves, but the spot lock feature is fantastic. And you see a lot of us supplementing these trolling motors as anchors whenever we decide to do some deeper water fishing or if you wanna take it out on a calm day like we have today. Some really nice features um, behind the trolling motor here is these pop-up cleats. We have pop-up cleats on both sides, which is fantastic for whenever we're docking. And if we choose not to have the trolling motor on the boat here, which it's removable, we have a cleat right here in the center of the boat, which is perfect for an anchor if we choose to use an anchor on this boat. Moving back behind the trolling motor, we have the anchor locker, which is nice and big, accommodates a decent size anchor, big enough to hold this boat, and we also have these little tabs that lock it right in place here. We have a cutout right here that where a trolling motor wire has a place to go inside of the anchor locker. And this is also where our plug lives to our trolling motor. So it's completely out of the elements and we don't have to worry about corrosion. Moving a little further back, we have this storage hatch right here in the center. And this is a huge box. It comes all the way forward here butts up against the anchor locker. So right now we have our PFDs, our throwable, our shade, some other additional storage items up here in the bow. And that's one thing that Pathfinder is known for, is storage. There's tremendous amounts of storage in this boat. And that's really important when you're bringing family and friends and fishing gear, right? We always need a place to keep stuff. Something additionally I'd like to touch on on this 22 TRS is the deep gutters, which you'll find on all of the Pathfinder models. Something that's important about deep gutters is it's what keeps your hatches dry. So the fact that we have these gutters, it just channels everything so nicely outside of the hatch and away. And it also helps to have these gaskets here. Moving to side here, we have um, something new here, which is really cool. On the side, we have these push button latches and we just press that and this locker will open up. And this is great for storage and for people like us that travel a lot whenever we're using these boats, it's really nice to just be able to stow your rods in here at the end of the day without having to cart them back and forth. So that's a really nice feature to have. What's fantastic about this 22 TRS, once we get done fishing, this entire bow area completely converts. We can add cushions to the entire front of this boat. In this rod holder, we have a backrest that goes right inside of here and some shade that attaches to the T-top and the entire front of this boat is shaded and it's a nice area for the wife and the kids to hang out whenever they're at the sandbar or if you're just idling around going through the intercoastal, it's just such a nice feature that makes this a fantastic family-friendly boat. 
whenever we're not fishing. Something that's great is we have a tremendous amount of cockpit space up here whenever we're moving from the console up to the bow. What's nice about this right here, for us fishermen that throw the cast net, this is big enough to store a five gallon bucket where we can store those cast nets. And additionally, if we're not doing that, you know, who knows? The possibilities are endless based on what you can store in here. And as you can see, this goes back quite a ways. So we have tons of storage even further back inside of this hatch, nice and dry, like we talked about. Now here we are in the cockpit and check this out. I mean, this is pretty spectacular for a 22 foot bay boat. The fact that we can walk around this entire cockpit with no obstruction. And this is great for fishing, but at the same time, when it comes to those family days, it's just that much easier to just get around and maneuver around this boat. But speaking of family, we have a cooler seat right here in front of the console. And for those of you that don't know, Pathfinder is known for fantastic ice retention in their cooler. So it's nice when we buy these boats and we don't have to add a high performance cooler after the fact. As you can see, it's on a friction hinge, so it makes it really easy to get in and out. Got the cushion on top. And as you can see, we could probably fit two adults here, um, two kids without a problem. And then we have the backrest cushion here which is great because it just helps to keep us as comfortable as possible. If we wish to do so, there's two little latches on the side of the console and we can actually move this entire cooler out of the way if you were to want more cockpit space up here in the front of the boat. But something that's really nice about that feature additionally is the fact that we have two Dutch doors on the front of this console here, which makes it so easy to just service and access your batteries, all of your electronics. And in my opinion, for somebody that spends a lot of time doing things themselves, the DIY guy, this is great because it is one of the easiest things in the world to rig this boat and being able to access and diagnose a problem. You know, because at the end of the day, certain things aren't working on the boat. You wanna fix them before you get out on the water. So the easier it is to fix and maintain something, the more time you're gonna spend on the water. So that is such a nice feature that Pathfinder thought of. Now, moving up a little ways, we have a windshield here, and this is great. It just really deflects the wind out away from your face. That way you can have a full on conversation behind the console. Um, we have a beautiful T-top here. And as you can see, with the T-top, we're able to put four vertical rod holders here on the side of the console. We have our nav lights, and as mentioned, if you just look at the amount of detail, it really is a beautiful T-top and you really don't see this on a lot of boats. So the fact that Pathfinder went that extra step to really just design a T-top that not only looks good, but it also serves as shade, which is great for the family and for anybody that just wants to spend more time out on the water. Another feature that just adds to this T-top being so well thought out is the fact that we have storage up here, but it also couples as access to all of our wiring, our lighting, which we have all throughout the T-top. So that's something that's really nice. We also have an additional one that allows us to have access to our speakers here in the rear as well. So it's nice to have access to all of your electronics. Now on the back of the T-top, we have six rod holders. We have four vertical and then we have the kingfish rod holders right here. These are really nice just in case we wanted to take this boat offshore fishing on a really calm day. We have two lines that we could put right out the back here on the transom and we could stick two additional right up inside of here that point out just to give our spread a little more separation. Now here we are behind the console and in my opinion the console is like the kitchen of the home. We all spend so much time here getting to and from and the way that your console is laid out has a lot to do with how easy it is to control and ultimately drive your boat. So the way that Pathfinder laid this out it couldn't be any better. Now we have room for a 16 inch chart plotter here, Garmin to be specific. And this is great because bigger is always better. The bigger that your charts are up there in front of your face, the easier it is for you to navigate. And if you do wish to buy one of these boats, chances are you're gonna get in some skinny water and navigation is really important. So the fact that we could fit a screen this big, that is a huge thing. 
Off to the side, we have a Media Master head unit by JL Audio, and stereo sounds fantastic in this boat. Two speakers up in the bow, two speakers in the transom here, and then we also have two speakers right here in the hard top. And these are great because the fact that they're there so close to your ears, it really adds to the sound quality of the stereo and just kind of saves your ears too. So that way you don't have to turn the stereo up so loud over the engine and the wind and everything else. Right below the chart plotter, we have the switches and this allows us to control everything in the boat from, you know, the under gunnel lighting, the lighting in the T-top, our nav lights. This boat also has underwater lights and then we also have lights inside of our hatches, which is great. Uh, full access to our live wells and the fact that everything is here in arm's reach just really makes things easy. Got two cup holders on either side. Said it before, I'll say it again, you could never have enough cup holders on a boat. And something that's nice is a lot of the times we see people putting their phones inside of the cup holders on these boats, but Pathfinder adds a little lip right here where you can just take a phone and just slip it right inside of there and you don't have to worry about it. We also have a compass here, we have the trim tab switches, and then we have the key and the throttle and steering wheel right where it needs to be with our jack plate control right there off to the side. As we move down the console, we have a little storage hatch inside of here, which is great for keys, your wallet, or just things that you have to get to really quick. We have our main house battery switch on a breaker, and then we also have a battery switch separate for our 24 volt motor guide trolling motor up front. Moving back towards the leaning post, I wanna just reiterate the cockpit space. This boat has an eight six beam, which means that this boat is eight feet and six inches wide. So even with this wide leaning post here, as mentioned, we still have plenty of room to walk around here. And another thing to note, Compared to previous 22 models, we have about another inch of freeboard here on the side, so it just helps to keep you locked in a little more. And we have about another half a foot behind the leaning post too, which is really nice. This leaning post is in testing right now. Maybe we can see something like this in the future, but has very comfortable armrests here that pop up, makes things really comfortable. And compared to what's already out there, you know, you can easily fit two people here on this leaning post. And a lot of the times when I'm driving, my wife will sit behind me, a friend will sit here. And so you can easily get three people behind this console with this tilt steering wheel here, which is really nice. Got a little foot rest here that pops down. Really nice for, you know, say some kids that need a little extra boost to get up here on the leaning post. And as of right now, what we have so far, this is a very, very comfortable leaning post. So really excited to see what we can come up with. The way that it's currently set up right now, we have four vertical rod holders here on the back. Got two cup holders. Not only are these great for drinks, but you know, say we're rigging up a rod back here, we can stick a hook, maybe a lure inside of there, soft plastic. And moving down a little further, the way that this is set up, we have a drawer here. And we also have a slide out cooler. And the fact that we have that cooler up in the front as well, you know, plenty of space for food and drinks for the entire family or just friends that are coming out for the day. Now in this rear bulkhead here, you'll notice that we have a tube just in case we have a rod a little longer, like a fly rod. We have the ability to store that obviously in this under gunnel rod storage. We also have fresh water wash down, additionally salt water wash down. This is really important just because it helps us to clean up the boat. That salt water wash down and then the fresh water is really nice for whenever we're out at the sandbar and we just wanna rinse off, get all that salt off of us. So this is something that really helps this Pathfinder stay true towards an inshore fishing boat. But we also have just some fantastic features going on here in the back of the boat. Now what's great is you can see, I can walk this entire transom, absolutely no obstruction, which is fantastic whenever we're out there fishing. But this boat has so many features that help it convert into a family friendly boat. And as you can see, we have this pop-up rear seat here that's now in the middle. Very comfortable. Two adults can fit here, no problem. We actually have grab handles here, which is a really nice touch. 
And this is huge right here, full pun intended. As you can see, this entire cushion comes forward just like this, and we have a nice little bin here, which I think is a fantastic place to keep trash. But that bin actually removes and comes completely out of the way. So somebody like myself can get my entire body down inside of this bilge and be able to access all my pumps, all of my electronics, my fuel filters. So just like we've been talking about throughout the walkthrough, the amount of access that we have on this boat is unbelievable. Now on either side of our third row seating, we have live wells that can also be used as a release well. As you can see, these are 35 gallons mirroring on each side. We also have a bubbler inside of there and we have two drains. So we have the ability to use a standpipe and we also have a drain on the side inside of there. So the more drains that you have, obviously the easier it is for the water to drain out of the live well. So you don't have to worry about that water overflowing inside of the cockpit. Now, if we wish to, we can go ahead, turn off the valves to our live wells and we can actually use these as storage if we don't wish to use these as live wells. So that's another fantastic feature. So not only are these live wells, but they can also be used as storage. Now behind our third row seating here, we have this very large splash well. And this is really nice just because we can use this for a lot of different things. Say for example, we're fishing with chum. It's nice to be able to just have a place to take that chum bag and just store it inside of without putting it in your cockpit, things being all nasty. Another thing is too, my wife and I, we love diving and Whenever we're done diving, it's just nice to be able to throw your mask and your fins in here whenever you're getting inside of the boat. That way your hands are freed up. Now moving outside, we have another pop-up cleat here. You know, whenever we're throwing the cast net or you're throwing the fly rod, it's just nice to be able to have something that not only serves as a place to put your dock line, but it just goes out of the way. So there's absolutely no obstruction there. We also have another fitting here for our shade that we can use to shade the entire back of this boat. As I mentioned earlier, the shade is just an absolute game changer. And if you're a family guy, just as much as you are a fisherman, it's definitely something that you are gonna wanna add towards the boat. We have two rod holders back here, which is great. You can never have enough rod holders as well on these fishing boats and we have plenty of rod storage here. We have one that goes straight back behind the boat and this is great if maybe we're doing some bridge fishing for tarpon or we're just live baiting in some current, stick it back here, put the trolling motor on spot lock and then you just have a little, little variation right here a little further ahead so it's nice to just kind of have two different angles um, when it comes to putting rods in these rod holders back here. Now, onto one of my favorite parts here on this boat, mounted on a six inch Atlas jack plate, and you guessed it, the Yamaha 250 Show VMAX. This boat here, it has 65 gallons of fuel, 10 more gallons than some of the previous 22 models, which is great because that gives us more range, meaning we can go further without having to refuel. This boat can accommodate horsepower as little as 150, and all the way up to this 250 show. And what we're seeing right now is speeds into the mid 50s, best case scenario on this boat, which is fantastic performance. Another thing that we did here in the transom is we got rid of the sponsors and that gave us the ability to mount dual power poles in addition to the swim platform, just making it that much easier. One thing I just want to add in addition to that dive ladder, that dive ladder is a fantastic feature, but at the same exact time, you know, these bay boats are fantastic platforms to dive out of and go to the sandbar because it's just so easy to get in and out of the boat with these lower gunnels. So this boat is a true inshore fishing boat, but us living down here in the Florida Keys on a calm day like today, there's no reason why you can't take it out to the reef and do some yellow tailing or some mutton snapper fishing or potentially, you know, do some mahi fishing if things are really that calm. And that's what's so great about this 22 TRS is it's so versatile. There's so many different things that you can do out of it. And ultimately, it's always going to keep the family happy. And if you're keeping the family happy, that means those are more days that you get to spend out on the water with them making memories. And that's what all of this is all about. But 
I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. So far, we are loving this 22 TRS, and we know that you guys will more than likely love it just as much as us. But thanks so much for joining us on this walkthrough. We'll see you guys next time.